Go is arguably the most complex board game in existence. Its goal is simple surround more territory than your opponent. This game has been played by humans for the past 2,500 years, and it's thought to be the oldest board game still being played today. However, it's not only humans that are playing this game now. In 2016, Google DeepMind's AlphaGo beat 18-time world champion Lee Sedol in four out of five games. Now, normally a computer beating a human at a game like chess or checkers wouldn't be that impressive. But Go is different. Go can't be solved by brute force. Go can't be predicted. There are over 10 to the 170 moves possible in Go. To put that into perspective, there are only 10 to the 80 atoms in the observable universe. AlphaGo was trained using data from real human Go games. It ran through millions of games, learned the techniques used, and even made up some new ones that no one had ever seen. And this alone is very impressive. However, what many people don't know is that only a year after AlphaGo's victory over Lee Sedol, a brand new AI called AlphaGo Zero beat the original AlphaGo. Not in four out of five games, not in five out of five games, not 10 out of 10 games, but Bo 100 to zero, 100 games in a row. The most impressive part? It learned how to play with zero human interaction. This technique is more powerful than any previous version, but why? It isn't restricted to human knowledge. No data was given, no historical figures were given. It, with just the bare bone rules, AlphaGo Zero surpassed the previous in only 40 days of learning. In only 40 days, it surpassed over 2,500 years of strategy and knowledge. It only played against itself, and it is now regarded as the best Go player in the world, even though it isn't human. But wait, if this AI learned how to play without any human interaction, made up strategies on its own, and then beat us with those strategies, then that means there's more non-human knowledge about Go than there is human. And if we continue to develop artificial intelligence, then there's going to be more and more non-human intelligence that we just don't have access to. Eventually, there's going to be a point where we represent the minority of intelligence, maybe even a very minuscule amount. So what happens if we end up stuck with an AI that is constantly and exponentially getting smarter than we are? What if it gets to a point that humans get in the way and the AI hits the off switch on us?